Hello people, welcome back. Today we've got Beaver Town Supermoon Hazy IPA 6%. Um, quite lazily, you can see this incredible decal. It's just um, it's a sticker put on the can. Quite lazy, really. You can see from the scene there. Anyway, to celebrate that, we're going to be going in to London on Microsoft Flight Sim because I've heard some big dopey idiot called Boris might need a lift somewhere. Oh well, let's not let the door hit him on the way out. Right, let's jump in the sim. Here we go then, Mr. Prime Minister, your Uber is about two minutes away, just approach him as you can see there, London City Airport. Anyway, Beaver Town Supermoon Hazy IPA, so I've got the can cracked as you can see, and I've got it poured out. The colour is quite pale, um, I drank a Hazy IPA the other week, I think it was Heathen by um, Northern Monk, and it was a lot darker in colour than this Hazy IPA. Nothing, nothing massively of note in smell. Maybe orange. I think it's orange. Can't quite put my finger on it. it smells very orangey. Um, and to taste as well. Nothing. Nothing jumps out in the taste. Maybe again, slightly what I could smell in in the smell test, if you like. It was orange, and I think that might come across in the taste as well. But genuinely, I can't tell. It's not really very exciting. It's nothing really to write home about. It's nothing that stands out. It's it's quite average, to be honest. Quite bitter, as you'd expect. It's a strong IPA, six percent can't really taste the strength in it. It's bugging me what that taste is, I think it's orange. But regardless of that, it's um, nothing to write home about guys. Anyway, there's the big dome there as we're heading towards the city. Might stop here, see if we can get some money out of them. The line in there pockets for long enough for bonuses. I think I'll do a bit of a loop around the city just to show you that. This, um, although I'm now regretting it because this this little um, beachcraft plane that I mean is quite difficult to control. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely regretting this. But anyway, there's the city, the financial district, is I think its official title. Don't worry, we'll just have a quick detour here, then we'll get into um, into the centre of London, fly by Westminster, the Houses of Parliament. I know I've got, um, as I've described, I'm drinking a, a can of Beaver Town Supermoon, but it's absolutely fine because I think it's going to be a work event, so that excuses all manner of sins, according to our um, soon to be former Prime Minister. But yeah, I'm really regretting doing this loop around the city because it's quite difficult to control this crypto plan. 500. Here we go then, Tower of London just off to the right there, fly over Tower Bridge, up on the left there is the big shard, I mean shard, uh, to the right there is a number of other buildings, there we go there's a shard, 
I think we're just be coming up on Westminster now. You should see London Eyes around this corner. Some of the bridges there. This plane is really difficult to control. I am regretting using this. So there's the London Eye, and there they are. Houses of Parliament. This symbol of British idiocy, I mean politics. So, as soon as Boris has finished his work event, he's going to call there steaming, fall into his Uber. And you know what? We might spin round and land at London City Airport, and we'll wait there for him, really. Get him out of the city as soon as. The sooner he's gone, the better, in my opinion. So here we go, London City Airport, the way we sort of came in at the beginning of this video is just over these buildings. Um, we're going to try and land there and then we'll wait for the Prime Minister there, I think. Should be long any minute. Leave someone else to clean up in his mess, won't he? So won't bother doing that himself. So we'll get landed there and that'll be the end of the video, guys. But Beaver Town Supermoon, bang average. Lazy detailing on the can, they've just put a big sticker on it. Um, it's quite a lazy beer to be honest. It's not for the price I paid for it. I think I paid £3 for this can, and it is in no way worth £3 at all for this one can. It's very bang average. Five out of ten at best, guys. Alright, um, get landed. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, see you next time. Thanks, guys.